What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another epic part, part 11, I believe, of our Realm of Thrones playthrough as the great Gendry Bolrathian, bastard son of Robert Baratheon, and true heir to the Iron Throne. In this episode, well, we're going to start him off with a tournament battle. In the last episode, we married the great goddess Arya Stark, greatest warrior in the land. And we plan to... We've got her in the party now, hopefully. I haven't seen what gear she's wearing. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. I'm hoping she's actually got needle. If not, we're going to have to forge her needle. Which we can do. Oh, axe throwing, huh? Gendry's not the most proficient, but he'll try. Oh, God. Alright, up a bit higher. Oh, damn, we missed. Well, give me this axe. Hua! There we go. And another one. Hiya! Ho 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 ho! In the face! Ay ay ay! Alrighty. I'm still a bit crook, guys. Am I. Uh, don't mind me if I cough or something. Really wouldn't shock me. I want to help my spearman deal with this spearman. Because I want a spear. Oh, nope. Ow. I said no. Ow, he is really after me, man. Alright, we'll ride away and then ride back. There we go. He's down. Right. Now we get off our horse. Go and grab a spear. Yeah, what now, bro? I'd rather not have a horse. Spear combat. Far superior. At least when you're firsting horsemen, anyway. Come on. Almost got him. Ironborn scout down. House Greyjoy. House guard down. Alright. Let's go on in. These two spear boys over here have been having a little duel for a while. Ugh. Right. We're going to dismount. Draw our axe. Missed me. Oh. Good stuff, my fellow warrior. Now, to the semi-finals. Gendry's not used to this one-handed axe shenanigans. He's a big wielder of two-handed weapons. Definitely going to be looking into getting him some better armor, though. I kind of wish you could forge armor. The fact that you can smelt armor, but you can't forge it makes me sad. <laughs> oh, that was close. That Ironborn Wrecker did some big damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, let's have a look. Ah, more axe throwing, huh? I'm going to wait for him to throw them, and then I'm going to steal them. Thank you, sir. I'll take that one also. And that one also. Right, now I have six axes. What you going to do about it? Huh! And again. Huh! Oh, I missed. That's bad. Yeah! Point blank in the chest. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Didn't even use any of my original axes. Only the two that I picked up that he threw. A victory for the great Gendry Bulrathian. Alright, so Rob Stark's at war with the Westerlands. Um, yep, that's normal. Gendry married Arya. Indeed. Alright, let's go into inventory and let's have a look. Cregan, White Cross, obviously chilling out in here. Got to get him the White Cross blade at one point. Um, Arya Stark, does she have needle? She does not have needle. What is this? And she's wearing full bloody northern armor. Interesting. All right. Well, oh, she's got the Deer Bane flag. Increased damage against mounted troops by 10%. Interesting. Chainmail horse armor. Ari is no knight. She is a foot soldier, through and through. So we're going to take these horses off of her. She doesn't need it. She fights side by side with Gendry. All right. Uh, going to Black Tide. Let's enter the smithy. Let's see what we need to... Oh. We, we have no materials? What? When did we lose all of our materials? I, we must have lost the battle. That I don't remember. Um, we need some hardwood. I don't really mind the cost. It's 30, which is reasonably expensive. Um, Alright, smithy. Refine, get us some charcoal. 
We're going to need to sm melt some of this stuff down. Smelt that, smelt that, smelt that, smelt that. Nice. Um, now let's have a look in the forge. Should be needle here somewhere. Horse Lord Blade. Jamie's Blade. Lyrian Steel, Stark, Ironwood, Lion Tooth, Dark Sister, which is kind of like a needle type blade. It's quite thin. Needle, there it is. Alright, so needle, the blade itself doesn't cost any of this expensive stuff, which is nice. Uh, unlocked only. See if we have, there we go, Needle's Guard. And... Valyrian, Bronze, Lion Tooth, Ironwood, Martell, Arak, Lightbringer, Forlorn, Dark Sister, Stannis, Unsullied, Valarion, Skull. Do I not have the needle handle yet? Is there anything I can give her as a temporary? That's not too bad. It kind of fits. Still a bit, a bit dingy. It's a bit of a fat hilt for a small sword. Kopesh isn't bad. Maybe Dark Sister's handle. Although that... Hold on a second. Okay, so adding Dark Sister's handle makes it cost 10 Thamaskeen steel, which is insane. Um, Lightbringer? Lightbringer actually kind of suits it. So for now, we'll give her this. We can't forge it currently because our smithing is stamina is out, so we're just going to wait a minute. And then we can make her the sword... A true sword for the great Arya Stark. Alright. Unlocked only, I want Needle. Long. I want Needle's Guard. I want the Lightbringer handle. Actually, yeah, we'll go to the Lightbringer handle. Actually looks better. And do we have the pommel for this specific sword, out of curiosity? Lion Tooth, Lightbringer, Dark Sister, Ironwood, Stannis, Skull, Valarion, Viserys, Widow's Whale. Probably go um, that one, to be honest. Oh, that's expensive as heck. Bro, it's a pommel. Why does it cost 10 Thamaskeen steel? Um, Lightbringer. It's a bit bulky. Lion Tooth? That's a little bit better. I like it. Alrighty. Nice. We're going to forge that bad boy. Probably forge a couple of them. And try and get the best roll we can. Alright. Um, inventory. Weapons. Arya. Okay, Lady Arya. 52 cut, 70 pierce, 51, 72, 50, 72. This one's the best one. There we go. Arya with needle. I don't think the shield's all that relevant, nor the spear, but she can keep them for the sake of gameplay. <laughs> She's got the noble um, default helm, which is, you know, invisible and gives her 50 head armor. We could probably steal that for ourselves. But we don't want our wife to die, so she can hold on to it. Alright, now we will trade and we'll sell some stuff. Uh, get all that out of here. Get all this out of here. Don't need any of that. Don't need this expensive ass horse armor. Look at the amount of money we just made. Good 22 grand. Not bad, not bad. Get some rouncies. They're kind of expensive, but that's alright. Alright, let us march. Yeah, one troop deserted. I'm not shocked. It's because we got our companions back. I think we're still slightly over. Yeah, over by one. Uh, this northern recruit can go. Alright, we've got some upgrades to do. Damn. Um, infantry. Ironborn. Uh, Stark levies. I'm not sure what our, our archer numbers are like right now. Not good. Okay, so I want some northern bowmen. Northern Sergeants, Stark Bowmen. 
then footman. Just to give us a nice balanced military as much as we can. So our numbers are currently 80 infantry, 40 archers. We're going to have like no cavalry, but our army's kind of very um, infantry focused. Going to besiege the crag. Doesn't look like you're going to besiege the crag. The crag's up here. Oh, he's chasing Garwin Westerling with his zero men. Hey, Lord Westerling, come here. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, surrender or die. You have literally no men. I assume your your party's starving. Yep. 101 men. Capture the enemy. You are my prisoner. Um, <laughs> wow, that's really unfortunate. That's gotta suck. Oh, buddy. You have some bad luck. Alright, let's ride to the crag if it's not already falling, which it's not. We'll join Great John Umber and his forces. Oh, well, there's only 50 men in here. Um, so we're going to send the troops. Not enough in here to be concerning at all. And we'll take... Take some Riverlord... Uh, Riverlands Elite Swordsman to replace our one unit. Why do we have 92 out of 89 prisoners? That doesn't make any sense. Right, um, I want Westerling in here, and then I want as many as I can get. Uh, lordly Casterly Rock Braces. Well, they are, they are definitely good armor. We can wear them for now. They kind of suit our little mix, mismatched armor set. The crag was taken. Indeed it was. I have no interest in staying here. Vote for the new owner of the crag. I refuse to vote. If I'm not on the list, I'm not voting. Right? Right. Ah, coffee. Alright. We're going to go to the crag, and we're going to... This is assuming their dungeon can even hold. It can hold a couple. We'll donate as many as we can. It's a quick 15 influence. Considering we only get 0.5, it's pretty good. Case is still held. Castly Rock fell, which means there has to be an army around here somewhere. Decent sized force needs to be lurking. There it is. Gregor Clegane has 450 men. Alright, let's join up with Great John Umber. Uh, we didn't pull in the army we wanted. Come on. Go get us into a real battle. Oh, here we go. This could go really good or really bad. Oh, we've caught them. The battle begins. It's definitely overkill. We have 1,000 men against 340. But the important thing is we won't lose the, ba the battle. I wanted to lead the vanguard, but uh, this bastard over here has taken my job. So can I join as a hero troop? No. All right. Well, we'll just run with the warriors. Do our normal thing. Exist as part of the military in the front line. The great Gendry Bulrathian does not fear the front. He fights alongside his warriors and boosts their morale. Hey look, we have some Night's Watch traitors up here. Kill them all! Damn Night's Watch, you're not meant to be here. Get out of here. Oh, oh my dear, hello. Hi there, Arya. I was wondering where you'd gone off to. Hey! Madame, I know you are a noble, but you are also a great warrior. Get in here and help me kill dudes. Whoa! Horseman! Ow! Knights! Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is real bad. Get me into the group of infantry. I don't want to die to a bunch of jousting douchebags. Rush the back line! Carve him up! Oh god, that's an enemy. Not anymore. Now it's a dead guy. Slap him! Use our superior warriors and crush them all! I will crush this whole damn line if I have to. What's over here? Oh, hello. I found some enemies to kill. Damn gold cloak. Fall, you fool. 
This is a mess. I feel like Jon Snow. I'm being surrounded and slowly suffocated by all the damn people around me. Where are the enemies? I can't see a damn thing. Oh, those are archers. That is Gendry's worst thing to fight. Oi, oi, oi. Talk about an absolute shite show. Alright, boys. Pull forward to the archers. Kill that guy real quick. Charge! Oh, the archery line's dead before I get here. Huh. 14 in cavalry on that flank. No horse for you. Yeah, what's up? Bring it on. Come on. Bring it on. Face me, you dumb Lannister knight. Well, they're being heavily surrounded by our own knights. Makes it kind of hard to make out the uh, difference sometimes, to be honest. Oh, this guy over here. Ugh, get out of here. If you're not with me, then you're against me. In which case, you die. Ah, Lannister dude. Oh, he dead. Is that all of them? Yep, some of them got dismounted over there and are dying. One horseman there. Come on, buddy. Calm down, Papa. Excuse me, sir. Get off that horse. Face me in mortal combat. All these guys are getting in the way. Die. I think that's victory. Sure is now. We did it, man. We won. Now, to the campaign. All right. We got some um, White Harbor Knights. We can't really take those. We have full... Uh, our party's very full. Uh, we can take some more prisoners. Prisoners are always good to have. Alright, we're going to leave the army. Oh, oh god, that's the wrong way. I want to run the north at the moment to case. Uh, let's sell off our... Oh no, don't sell them all. We want to go keep, dungeon, donate prisoners. Yes. Donate them. Far better to donate the warriors. Alright, Great John Umbar is going to besiege Castle Rock. The crag's under siege. Ride for the crag! These guys all just disbanded from their army, so we're going to pull them in. You, you, you. You... Oh, maybe not you. I want guys that don't cost me too much, but bring a decent force. Right, that'll do. Everyone with me to the defense. To the crag. We might even try and break in and defend the crag, to be totally honest. Although if we break in, there's a good chance they'd just leave. They're attacking yet. 477, they're attacking. We need to move in now. The crag won't hold, men. Assault the siege camp. Alright, warriors. With me. To war. I didn't get a deployment phase. I feel robbed. Alright. Cavalry. Infantry. Forward. Alright, where are the enemy? The enemy's over there. I want my infantry to fan out a bit. We have enough of you that you should be spread out a bit more. 
Archers. Loose formation. To the front. The enemy is coming to us. I want my archers in front now. Horse archers. Go and skirmish with the enemy. Two infantrymen. What the heck? Oh, those are my companions. Ah, well, my noble bodyguards. You will follow me. Infantry, once those archers are out in front, you need a shield wall. The enemy has far more cavalry. We need to be in a position to defend. Our own cavalry is not having a good time on the flank. They are heavily outnumbered. Hopefully our archers can pick off the enemy's units as they approach. As the enemy draws near, we'll break our shield wall and charge. You ready, man? Ready! Hold the line! Our reinforcements are coming in. Right. Archers, fall back. Infantry, line and charge. Ow! Damn it, I just got here, you fool. Oh, y'all weren't ready for this battle, I'm telling you. You have never faced Lord Gendry in battle. I will cleave your men in two, crush the armor on your breastplate, and send your packing back to the west. Ow! Oh god! That's a hell of a charge coming in. Bunch up with the infantry! Hold your lines! The enemy has a hell of a lot of horses. Wait, what? Oh, this, this squadron's just following me. Alright, you guys, get in there. Personal bodyguard, charge. Support our allies. Keep the line strong. Prepare! I'm currently using a horse as cover from horses. It doesn't make much sense, but it's what I'm doing. Right, what do the enemy's infantry numbers look like? Not much. My entire infantry line needs to get back into a shield wall. It's our only shot of beating back the enemy's cavalry. We're going to get rear charged here in a minute. It's definitely going to happen. We need to break through, take out their archers, and then turn. Ow! Okay, i got to pull back. If I take a hit, I'm dead. Stay in the cluster. He's down. Shield walls holding strong. Flower Knight. Our own knight's coming in. That's a lot of dudes, man. That's a lot of dudes. Go for the archers. Right, the archers are screwed. Infantry. Hold your lines. Form a square. Square formation. Out. Hold your line, men. Hold your line. It's, all they got left is their uh, is their cavalry. If we can hold our formation, they will lose. Whew. Looks like our royal bodyguard did what they could and uh, came back with about five men.
Prepare for the charge! We take out the horse, and they're screwed. Maintain your wa your formation, lads! Shields at the ready! Here they come! Hack them to bits, lads! Alright. This might be the point where we have to shield wall and push them. It's not as effective against infantry, but into cavalry, shield wall and then push is probably your best bet. Actually sets your men to the task of actually attacking, so they don't just sit there idle. I do like the uh, idea of going square formation, because it should make us perform better into cavalry, but it's really not, and I'm down. Oh dear lord. Alright, hopefully our infantry force can pull off a win. Um, doesn't appear to be happening. Alright, this is where we retreat. We definitely retreat here. There is 92 of us remaining after that vicious battle. Ooh, get away, get away, get away. Regenerate, regenerate. Get our numbers back. Oh shit, he got way more men back. Oh shite. That's a problem. Um, <laughs> this is going to be one of my cheesy tactics where we go disband. Everyone, run! Lord Rob, you're here! Ah, now you're screwed, buddy. We're in. Let's do this. I mean, we're wounded, so we can't actually participate, but we'll send the warriors and act like we helped. Um, Riverlands Admiral and a Riverlord House Guard. Oh god, they're so cool, man. Like, really dumb shield, but everything else about these guys is sick. We have 63 wounded. <laughs> Definitely not the, um, the best outcome, but the army was defeated. That's what matters. Oh yeah, yo. We have nine men, bro. Nine. New owner of Castle Rock. This should definitely be me, but fine. Give it to Robin Flint. Not like he's gotten everything so far in this conquest. We might actually go for a an adventure. Go and explore the um the territories. Oh, that's some some broken men. I'm not sure if we win them in our against them in our current state. Yeah, we want to go and explore over in the lands of the Stormlands because I want some damn better armor. That's all I want. I just want better armor, man. All right, these are the Riverlands. Might even be able to pick up some replacement soldiers here. They are supposed to be our allies in this war. The election of the crag has begun. Uh, we could do a tournament while we're here. Sure, let's jump in and do a tourney. Into the tournament! We get an open basket. Yeah, that doesn't seem very Gendry style, but I mean, we'll take it. I hold the line. Alright, buddy, you asked for it. The fact that you would challenge the great Gendry Bulrathian to a battle. How dare you. You pompous twat. Right, got him. Now for their archers. Oh, nope, now for their horsemen that just went into a wall. Oh dear lord. You okay, sir? You were just inside a wall. You feeling alright? We definitely drew the, uh the winning straw when it comes to- Oh dear lord! When it comes to cavalry on our team. 
Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Alright, yeah, that's uh, 3v1. I'm pretty sure we got that. Skip. Yeah, we won. Oi. Yeah, we don't have a lot of health, but uh, that's alright. Uh, archery. Definitely not Gendry's forte. I, I say as I land a headshot on a dude with a shield and kill the next dude. Whoop. Being fired on by the guy at the back. Whoop. Accidentally hit that guy. Well, then my other archer friend didn't even use his bow. He just ran forward and started hitting people with a sword. Which, I mean, kind of worked, but I feel like that's only because I did a lot of damage. That better not be shooting at me. Oh, it's not. House Tully, man at arms. Oh! I gotta be careful. Gotta remember that I'm not as good at one-handed on this character. Keep thinking I'm Mr. Rob Rain, but that is not this character. This character is bad in single-handed combat. Oh. Oh, God. Dear Lord. We did it. It was close, but we did it. Now we're firsting a House Tully Men-at-Arms. Oh, two-handed combat. Don't mind if I do. This is where Gendry excels. Look at how easily he swings this sword. Yeah, sir, you chose the wrong opponent today. Sorry. Gave me the wrong weapon. Gendry is far too powerful when you give him a two-handed sword. Alrighty. Very nice. Gotta make sure Arya stays with us, obviously, because that's the only way we're gonna get, uh, baby Bullrathians. The great baby Bullrathians. Alright, now we gotta go for a very scary run through the enemy's territory. Like, this area is not so bad, but once we have to start running through the Reach and the Westerlands up here, that's where it gets sketchy on whether we make it through or not. Oh, the Vale actually owns this. It's been so long since we've came and had a look over here that I did not know the Vale owned this territory. Maybe it won't be so hard to get through. Let's have a look. So, Harren Hall is held by the Vale. Darry is held by the Vale. Rosby is held by the Vale. Holy crap. Okay. So, both Hull and Duskendale are in open rebellion. Uh, Alright, oh the faction of Dragonstone is still the faction of Dragonstone. They, uh, they just own all of the Stormlands now. Nice. Well, we have to do a, ex a little bit of a yeet across this territory. Yeet our way across. Alright, now we should be safe. Hopefully Stannis doesn't try to use our blood. I swear to God, if we find Melisandre, we are executing her before she's ever a problem. Alright, leave Stone Dance. House Valarion owns a large portion of this. Don't know if they've earned it, but it's theirs. Stormwind. Alright, we can pick up some, um, proper, proper, um, supporters here. Some Baratheon warriors. Finally, forming our own little Baratheon squad. Then we can go back to our war. We could even use this as an area to raid the, um, the Reach, since they are siding with the Lannisters. Alright, uh, let's go to the shop here. I want to see what armor we can find. Oh, dude. These helmets look sick. I don't really think that they represent us too well, but they look sick. Rainbow Guard Cloak. Huh? Alright. Stormlands Fluted Armor. That costs... Holy damn, it costs... 212,000? Oh my lord. That's, um... That's scary. That is scary pricing. 
Alright, uh, don't worry about that. I have no interest in that right now. Let's go and see what else we can find in maybe Weeping Town. Rebels and Storm's End have risen against their Lord Stannis Baratheon. I was just there! Lol. Make peace with the Reach. Now Kingdom will receive 2,000 gold as payments. Uh, I don't have a vote because I have no influence, but I'm down. Oh wait, this is Lord's Privy Council. Tier 5 plus clans gain 0 0.5. Make peace with the Reach. Yes, it's money. Give it. We deserve money. Nice. Now to Weeping Town. Trade. Armor. I'm hoping I can find that. That's what I want. Oh, yeah. It might be Renly's. But Renly's dead, man. This is mine. Oh, hell yeah. Now we look like a real Bullrathian. Oh, yeah. It's going to cost us a ton of money, but, you know, it's worth it. We got some loot. We can kind of subsidize the payment a little bit. It's not going to cost as much as it should, but damn. That's pretty nice. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, you can't have my silver ore. You can have the hides. And you can have... Oh, we'll keep the banner of the squire. Costs one, two, four, three. I hate it. It should be one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, nice. Now let us enter a new arena in our shiny new helmet. Stormlands plumed arme. Huh. That's pretty cool. Doesn't seem very uh Gendry, but it's cool. Hit that guy. Hit him again. Oh, he dodged. This man's part of the Matrix. Help. Help. He's, he's in the Matrix. Oh, man. That guy is wrecking everyone. Simon over there just doing work. He's just taking them apart. God damn. I'll support you, friend. You're doing God's work over there, Simon. Oh, that's Becky Brune. Don't worry. Oh no, that is definitely Simon. Simon is a young fella that is just executing people. Holy... Simon, are you a lord? If not, I should need to recruit you because you are scarily strong. I apologize, Simon, but I must do what is right for the kingdom. Oh. He has loyalty. He knows who the true king of the Baratheons is. Just look at my helmet. Hey, don't gang up on my boy Simon like that. I don't care if this is a... Right, you fall now. You cannot harm Simon. Simon was to be my final battle. And you ruined it. Peasant. Right. Bring it on. This is for Simon. Ah! Aha! You going down now, buddy? Oh, yeah. Fool! Oh, uh, what? Huh? I said fool. You turn your back on me? Do you know who I am? Oh, and now I have a two-hander. This is what you get when you betray my friend. Simon did nothing. He was a skilled warrior. And you knocked him out before I could fight him. Right. Can the Lord Gendry recruit Simon? I want to know if Simon's a lord or if he's a... If he's a... Oh, no, he's not here. That's Damon Sand. Oh, a Dornish bastard. Interesting. Um, so where's Simon? Simon, uh... Simon... Noble of Dragonstone. 
He's a part of House Massey, but, like, wasn't given the last name, I guess. What a poor guy. All he did was be named Simon. He fights hard. He's treated like dirt. Gendry's been there, my friend. Gendry has been there. Uh, plus 1% damage to troops in your formation. Sure. Steward. Uh, plus 10% tariff income in governed settlements. Plus 4 party morale when the number of mounts is greater than the number of foot troops in your party. Tax income. I like that one. That's a good one to have. Um, we could probably increase tactics some more. And it's always good to have even more combat skill. Since we get more attack speed with two-handed weapons for every skill ab point above 250. And that's currently... Wait, hold on. 0.5% damage with two... Yeah, okay, that's nuts. We're getting a bonus 24... Oh, sorry. Technically, it's 12% damage right now with two-handed weapons. That's crazy. Ah, uh, the Grand Army is coming together. Are these Dragonstone Warriors? They are. What? Ah, uh, sell me. I don't, still don't know why they're Dragonstone soldiers when they're technically inside of, um, well, a completely different territory that would require that. <laughs> Making some bank right now. Go to Hunter's Pass and get some more men. Bam. Wow, we're not at war with anyone. Wonder how long this will last. The answer is probably not very long. Oh, Kingswood Outlaws. Rebels! Must kill rebels. Must kill rebels. You rebel scum. We're just harmless travelers. You are not harmless travelers. Don't you lie to me, you fool. Alright guys, this will probably be the last battle of the episode, I want to say. Obviously, it's not a big one, but... Look at this. Look at the strides we've made. Our beautiful helmet. We're married to a beautiful bride. And we've started to gather some great, very great Baratheon warriors. Now we are charging a formation of archers right now, which isn't great, but uh, you lot shield wall. And it's not going to help, is it? Because our, our peasants are just going to slow down and get killed. So charge, just charge, just charge. There's no point holding your position. I will try to stay out of this conflict. I want my men to get XP. There we go. Stormlands recruit getting kills. Izzy McSquizzy getting in there. Cregan Whitecross doing his thing. Murdering dudes. The great Lord Gendry will charge the archers. Ah! Ain't seen dodges like these, have ya? What are you going to do about it? I am the Dodge Master. Get in there, lads. Finish them. Losing some men is not a problem. The important thing is that we gained XP. I'll chase them down, lads. I'll chase them down. Using my superior... Oh, they're actually fast as hell. Damn. I'm supposed to be super fast. They're faster. Alrighty, my friends. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. I hope you enjoyed the tales of Gendry Bulrathian. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now. Not forever.